Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Daniel Gandy. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. Today is February 6th, and we, and we are here with your morning announcements. The 2022 to 2023 yearbook is now on sale for $90. Also, also senior yearbook ads are due on February 9th. Pick up yours by scanning the QR code on screen. NHS is hosting the final blood drive of the year, and we are looking forward for volunteers to donate blood. If you're 16 or older, weigh at least 110 pounds, you are eligible to donate. Moving on to spring sports, feel free to look at all the tri all the tryout dates. JV and varsity baseball and softball are still looking for players. Boys volleyball tryouts are next week from the 15th to the 17th. Now let's pass on over for Sterling for weather. Good morning, I'm Sterling and I'm here with your weekly weather forecast. Today we can expect sunny skies with a high temperature of 62 degrees and a nighttime low of 36. So once again, it'll be another chilly night with light winds going north-northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Going into the rest of this week, high temperatures are warming up a bit with highs in the low 50s and lows in, or in lows in, <laughs> scratch that, highs in the upper 50s to low 60s and no, and no rain to be expected this week. Low temperatures being in the mid 30s to upper 40s. Now in national weather news, over the weekend, it was cold with Mount Washington and New Hampshire having the lowest temperature in the contiguous U.S., with it being 46.1 degrees below zero, coupled with winds at about 97 miles per hour, which put the wind chill at a negative 109, the lowest ever recorded here. Well, thankfully, it is warmer here, and I hope that you have a great week, humans, and I'll see you all next week. Now back to Ethan and Daniel. Oh, sure, cool. I'll turn into a human popsicle. This week is full counselor appreciation week, so if you see your counselor, be sure to thank them. Our girls soccer team's last home league game is on Monday, February 6th at 4 p.m. Please come out to support our girls and recognize our seniors. Game times are at 4 p.m. for varsity and senior recognition and 6 p.m. for JV. Now let's check out today, today's BSU Fun Fact of the Day. What's up, CEO? My name is Sterling. And I'm Brian. And here's your Black History Month fun fact of the day. You may be familiar with the terms muckrakers or yellow journalism. At the turn of the 20th century, journalists began writing vividly described stories about horrific practices around the country and, and around the world. Nellie Bly's Ten Days in a Madhouse and Ida Tarbell's History of the Standard Oil Company are two classics of the genre. But without Wells' Southern Horrors, an 1892 pamphlet detailing lynching accounts throughout the United States and how those lynchings were enacted to punish black people who threatened white power structures. Her investigative journalism gave rise to new methodology. Look out for more Black History fun facts throughout the month presented by your Black Student Union. And see, see you, you next, next time. time. Hmm, I think I know her. Yeah, she just looks so familiar. I think you do. Oh, well, anyways, okay, Red Cross is selling Valentine's grants for you to buy for that special someone. These mm -hmm. gifts you can buy is the Beauty and the Beast, and Boo Bear, and Sleeping Beauty, and the two-for-one deal. Well, that's the end of our time. I'm Ethan Nguyen. And I'm Darren Gandy. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Frozen, Frozen Yogurt Day, Day Wolf Pack. pack.